I'm gonna put the foot down. Holy crap, skate. If you're a die-hard petrol head, like me and my wife, but still curious about this whole electric car thing, stay tuned. Today we are going to compare a Mini JCW, that's John Cooper Works, and an electric Mini. This is my wife's little runabout, 2018 Mini Cooper S, with optional stripes, white roof, Solter on the roof. Let me show you the inside. It's pretty much immaculate in here. My wife does uh, does treat her cars well. Nothing wrong at all with this car. I'm not trying to sell it. I'm, we're hopefully going to trade it in if we like what we see. As COVID came in, my wife has barely driven this car, so it's pretty much spotless. So we're hoping we're going to get max value if they do offer us a trade in. Two litre, turboed engine, front wheel drive, all the gadgets, excellent little car. However, we think we can do better. We think we can actually get more power from electric and it's actually gonna cost less to run, amazingly enough, which might offset the gas guzzling beast I have behind me. So we are heading down to St. Catherine's Mini and see what they've got to offer. The, the last car my wife got, the Mini Cooper S, it was kind of a compromise. We kind of just had to take what they had on the showroom floor. If we decide to go ahead with electric, it will be fully spec to her specifications. We'll see you in St. Catharines. Right then, let's see what this electric mini is all about. I think it's over there in the corner. Did see something else we like though. Oh, it's so quiet. Yeah, <laughs> it's strange. Right, electric mini. How do you start this thing? Oh, yeah, foot and a brake. Assume the yellow button. And yellow button. Okay. And is that it? We put it in drive. And go. Weird. <laughs> Weird. Zero noise. That's properly freaky. Kinda. Oh right, so it does slow down quite a lot without the brake. Mm. Yeah, she told us to go down to. that way, right? Oh wow, it really slows you down. Mm. I'm not sure I quite love it used to that. In fact, going from this to a petrol car, a normal car, you're going to freak out because when you take your foot off the gas in a petrol car, it doesn't slow down like that. Mm. Have I pressed that button on or something? Maybe, that seems, I don't know. It seems quite... Yeah, I must have had the button down because it didn't do it that time. Okay, okay, so let's turn right. 
Right, so dash-wise, what have we got? What's the, what's the point of this big screen, do you think? That's actually your speedo. Duh, okay. I feel like we should whisper because it's so quiet. It is freakishly quiet. Right, the brakes work exactly the same as normal. Which is weird because your car has power assisted brakes which work off a vacuum, presumably off the engine. So mm -hmm. where does it get its power from? I don't know. Electricity, I guess. This is going to be tricky to decide if I like it or not because at the moment I'm just too freaked out. <laughs> I do hear a, a bit of an electrical whine. Uh -huh. I expected to hear something like that. Whoa, Whoa. Boob spin. And it does have a. No, I thought it was a rev counter, but I think that was just my dial saying how much energy it was using. Mm. But it's weird not having the the feeling of changing gear. Mm. You know, you feel as if yeah. when you're going accelerating that fast, it's like so actually even, time to change down. Or even up. in an auto, you should be changing. Yeah. It, you should hear it. I'm going to put the foot down. Holy crap, ski. <laughs> I mean, it's not like rocket, but it's unexpected. Yeah. Okay, that's enough of normal mode. Let's put it in sport. Oh, everything turns red. Oh, well, look at this. Traffic lights. Okay, the, the lack of engine noise is not freaking me out like I thought it would. I was expecting to feel, oh, it's just a. Well, I didn't know what to expect, but it, it's not freaking me out. It's so quiet when you <sighs> stop. Alright, we're in sport mode. Let's see what happens. Wait till there's no cops about, because you know, I'm a police magnet. Right, here we go. That's wicked. That is it's... actually quite surprising. Oh, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> what does the E stand for in the mirror? Do you know? I have no idea. No, I need to look that one up. Okay, uh, drive-wise, uh, so far it feels exactly like your suspension steering-wise. Yeah. Well, with it in sport mode, I've probably stiffened the suspension, so I'm going to put it back to basic mid. It's a very nice big screen with a proper mm. mini, mini picture on it. Yeah. So I wonder what economy mode does. Does it have a cut green? What's it do? How green can it get? It's, <laughs> already, it's already green. Right, I'm, what we'll do is after these lights, I'll put the foot down. No, I'll have to stop. Oh, okay. Did that all cut? Don't know. Weird. Okay, well, well, we'll get a good example of what green does when I accelerate. Right, so green mode, accelerating. Still pretty quick, so I'm not sure what economy mode does. Uh, it definitely adds more auto braking when I take the foot off. Oh yeah. So I'm guessing it won't do that in sport. She've got. It still doesn't sport. I don't get this. Ilza's turn to have a test drive. She doesn't like being filmed, so I'll just uh, tell you how it goes afterwards. Looks like a mini. Oh, you get a green number plate. Don't know if that means anything. Maybe you can use the, the H, O, what is it, the high occupancy lane? Or high, or whatever, the green lane on the highway, you could probably use it in this. It's got your Union Jack tail lights. Okay, you're not getting the full Union Jack thing. I'm not sure how that works. No, I'm sure we could figure that out. Okay, let's go for a spin with the wife. I'm going to floor it when we 
get to the street. Sport mode, yeah. but that actually feels torquier than the Cooper S, yeah. which presumably is supposed to feel torquier because it's you know torque. Warp speed. Yeah, but when you put your foot down, it feels as if it's uh, the steering actually goes light. I don't like that. I like it if you accelerate and it feels planted, you know? Yeah, but you're always going to get that with a front wheel drive car. Yeah, I don't really notice that in my car. Yeah, but your car doesn't have this much torque. Oh, yeah, the steering definitely goes on you. I don't, mm. like, I don't like the steering going on me. I don't like that. Well, I'll put it back in mid. Now try it. So yours would be mid mode and mine would be sport mode then for driving. Well, I, I mean, I like the speed. I just don't like it when you lose the steering because it feels as if the yeah, well, that's, it's going light. That's just a characteristic of a powerful front wheel drive car. Mm -hmm. I bet I guess your Cooper S isn't. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get smacked. See you later, folks. <laughs> We're looking at interior, check this one out, it's really pretty. Oh, denied. So I think this is one of the sportier electric ones. It's got the blacked out mini badge because, you know, that adds power, apparently. Massive fake fuel cap. Presumably there's a big plug thingy in there. I don't know. I don't hate it. It's actually pretty cool. Right, we have one more car to look at and it's just arrived. Mini Cooper or GCW, is it better than electric? I'm a bit of a shorty. What now? Put your foot on the brake. My foot's on the clutch and the brake. Oh, it's not happy. So we've got the right keys this time. <laughs> Not our fault. Right. Mini Cooper, John Cooper work. Mini is it Mini Cooper, John Cooper works or just JCW? JCW. Whatever. That's better. It starts. Right. This is actually going to have to blow us away, right? Mm -hmm. To compare to the electric. Oh, hold on. Oh. Are we just ignoring that? Sorry, the hold on was it's giving us a big warning message. Not our problem, we haven't paid for it. Yeah. Right, so where do we go down here? You shouldn't say that. Right, obviously I need to put it into sport mode. It's 
GCT. Because why would you buy a GCW if you weren't constantly driving it in sport mode? It does have two warning messages. Wow, that's slow. Hmm. <laughs> that was in sport mode? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, we've got the red stuff and everything look. Right, I'm going to drop it in a second and give it another boost. Okay, that's shockingly slower than the electric car. It actually is. Uh, we'll just go back. Or, or are you still interested in this? Because to me, so far, this is no better than what you've got. I don't like the seats. You know me, I'm very fussy with seats. We can just go back if you want. Yeah, it doesn't really feel much different to me. No. It, it's honestly, not like we're buying a track car anyway. We're buying a, no, a daily kinda, commute. No, I honestly of, kind of feel like mine's every bit as fast as this anyway. If not I, well, I think weirdly <laughs> faster, which makes no sense. It doesn't make sense. Um, Shocked. Shocked and stunned. Alright folks, we will see you back for our final review summary thingy jig. Right, bye. We're not done yet. One more car to try. So we came here to test drive a Mini JCW and also test drive an electric Mini, see what all the hype was about. And we ended up buying a car. Can you guess which one we got? That's my wife's current car. That's some big giant countryman jobs. That's a Pepper White. This is a JCW that we test drove. There's another JCW over there, which is rather pretty, but it's an automatic. That one's whatever color that is. We're getting close, we're getting close. My wife just bought this electric green car. It's a green car in more ways than one. And it's totally fantastic. And I'm completely surprised that I even like it. Never mind, love it. So we are going to get home once we take care of the financials, financials and I'll explain the thought process and a final review of this little beastie. So my wife picks up her new electric mini on Monday. Shocking, right? See what I did there? Now, I will of course be doing a full review when we get the car, but for now, I have a small list of pros and cons. Let's start with the cost. For the electric Mini versus the JCW, which is top of the range Mini, the electric Mini was slightly... No, it was pretty much the same because the government are still offering incentives. We got $5,000 knocked off the price rebate, if you like, from the government. And I'm not sure how long that rebate is going to last as electric cars get more and more popular. So it's a good time to buy an electric. They also threw in a level two charger, which is the 220 or 240 volt, which luckily enough, because you know, I weld and do all sorts of things in this garage. I've already got the power coming up to the garage. So that won't be a problem to install. You also get the 110 outlet. 
I don't think this is the same issue in the UK because the, the UK run 240 volts anyway, so you probably just get the, the level two charger. Technology. Technology is going to change every year, but um, it's quite advanced over the current Cooper S. My wife now will have her Apple iPlay connectivity, wireless chargers, GPS, everything she wanted. But that will probably change next year when we get more fancy tech. But uh, it's full of tech, it's really good. Remember, it's a BMW. Uh, looks wise, it's very similar to the last model. In fact, I think some of the panels are the same, but obviously the chassis and driveline and everything is completely different in an electric car. And you get the added bonus of the battery being under the floor. So you get a lower center of gravity. So handling should be even better than a Cooper S or a GCW. Uh, driving wise, uh, again, pretty much the same. Steering feels the same. Brakes are actually better than the electric because it's combining your normal braking system with the regeneration, powered regen system. So the braking is really good and it adds power back into the car. Very clever. I think that came from F1 technology a decade ago. Maintenance. This is all I've got, by the way. Maintenance wise, I don't have to change the oil. I don't have to change exhaust gaskets. All those mechanical things you associate with a piston powered car, they're gone. There will be other things, obviously, brake lines and all that kind of stuff which you're still going to need to take care of but the day-to-day -day worrying about petrol and oil it's hard to get your head around we'll find out how that goes as I say I will do a full review when we pick it up and then we'll go from week to week and see what it's like to live with I'm really excited which is really surprising considering this is what I usually work on who knows I might get an electric truck one day if Ram ever come out with one. But for now, that is it. I'll see you again on Monday evening when we've got the car and maybe we'll go for another little quiet drive. So excited. My wife's just over the moon. Got a few things to do in the Cooper S. Need to swap tires over, take off some badges and stickers and stuff. But apart from that, we're good to go. <sighs> Thanks for watching. So excited. I've got lots to do. Take care.